OHP. When it comes to the OHP, and really any pressing uh, variation thereof, we don't want to keep our scaps locked in place, right? We're always taught, keep your shoulders and your scaps retracted, depressed, lock them in, keep them there. Mm, that's very old school. One of the big reasons why a lot of uh, old school bodybuilders just like tear shit up all the time, get hurt a lot. The scaps are meant to move with your shoulder, right? So there's something called scapular humeral rhythm, where basically as you move just the shoulder joint, your scap is gonna move in a certain proportion to that. And that's basically what we're looking for. Um, I have another video that I can send you if you'd like that goes through a little more of the anatomy and the biomechanics, a little more advanced stuff if you're interested. But for now, the basics, right? The basics of the advanced stuff, that's interesting. Anyways, so what you were doing is you're locked in place, right? Um, this is where a lot of beginners start. Started myself there too. Tore a bunch of shit up. It's not fun. What ends up happening is you kind of lock out like up here. Um, and you're just kind of not as stable. You're definitely not as strong. Your delt's taking a big hit, but it's not um, as big as it could be otherwise. So what I'm about to show you is going to blow up your lift. What that's going to do is going to blow up your serratus. It's going to blow up your delts, your upper back, all of it. Just going to be a better time, right? So. What I want you to do, or rewind, sorry, what I'm going to show you is uh, without a bar. So I want you to picture your scapula, right, your bone, I can't even reach it, you know what I mean, roughly here. Picture like a little uh, neon colored ball just in your mind's eye. What I want you to think about is pushing it forward and scooping it up. So like a uh, boop, scoop, scoop. Um, and what that's going to allow you to do, again, is really engage that uh, serratus interior. Realistically, what it does is it takes your scap, imagine this is your scap, right? And it wraps it around the rib cage. It's going to pull it this way and up, so it's actually like this. And what that's going to allow you to do is uh, twofold. So one, it's going to allow you to press forward for longer, and then you flare. That's going to be your strongest mechanic in general. And then the other part is it's gonna allow you to uh, use more of your back and more of your side delts and just uh, everything keeping it stable for your shoulders to press from. Because if you have stability in the front of the scaps and the back of the scaps, that's a more stable uh, position to press from. You're gonna generate more force, which means all the force from the ground, your legs, your core, your shoulders, they're all gonna uh, transfer right into your shoulders, right into your elbows, into your hand and inevitably into the bar, which is what we want. So, what does that look like with a bar? Ignore the sketchy setup. I'm far too lazy to set the rack up. So, one side note is you kind of started um, like here, right? With your elbows kind of back. Don't be afraid to get those elbows forward, kind of like a front squat. Um, because in getting those elbows forward, you're already getting a little bit of that scoop. I don't know if you can see from this angle, but if you're starting here and we want you to start here, bam, you already started with a little, little mini scoop. So, sorry, I'm cramping up. Okay, so we're gonna start from here with your mini scoop and you're gonna push that scap forward and up. You're gonna scoop, ready? So stable, back, down, scooped, scoop. You're actually gonna see me go, boom, boom. See how the motion's coming, not from the shoulder, but from the scapula. So I'm gonna go really slow. Scoop, 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 flare. Come back down, one more time. Start with your scoop. Scoop, 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 flare. And again, what that's gonna allow you to do is, bam. I don't know if you can see the thing. Can you see the fingers? Yeah, the, the, what's that lighting? Anyways, it's in there. Um, that's what we're training. So just to recap real quick, uh, instead of staying locked in this position, you want to get into this position, scoop a hair, so your elbows are out here like front squat, and then you're going to scoop, 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 scoop your way into the press, stay forward as long as you can, and then that's when you flare.
Okay.